Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Analysis with Dr. Veronica. In this video, we'll see an exciting functionality that is added to Microsoft Excel as an add-in, which is ChatGPT add-in in Excel. We are going to learn in this video how to install the ChatGPT add-in and we will work with the different functions of the ChatGPT add-in. If this is the first time you're coming to my YouTube channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up to this video and drop a comment in the comment section. If you already know about the ChatGPT add-in and if you have already started using it to op optimize your use of Excel, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Also, share this video with your friends and your colleagues. The ChatGPT add-in has some powerful features which we will go through in this video. One of them is the AI.ask, another one is the AI.fill, another one is AI.extract, and another one is the AI.table. We know how AI is revolutionizing the entire way that we work and we will see how this can be integrated into Excel for more optimality. It's important to note that the chat GPT add-in is available for Excel 2016 and higher versions. For this video I'm using Excel 365. So if you have Excel 2016, Excel 2019, of course, you can integrate the ChatGPT add into your Microsoft Excel. Another point to note is that you must have active internet connection to be able to integrate the ChatGPT add into your Excel. So I have internet and I'm using Office 365, so I'll go straight up to include the ChatGPT add into my Excel. On the Home tab, here you have add ins, just click on add ins, and you have the popular add ins come up. I will choose this option, which is chat GPT for Excel. Just select add and you wait for a little while for the Excel and you wait for a little while for the add in to be loaded into Excel. After the add in is loaded into Excel, you will see an icon like this, which says chat GPT for Excel. And of course, this is an AI and I have this option pop up. So I'm going to close this quick start video and I have these let AI magic begin options come up here. I have the AI functions, I have examples, I have documentation and troubleshoot. And this is a free trial version, right? And it's chat GPT 3.5. So let's get started. The first one is the AI.ask. What this function does is to provide responses to the questions that you are asking the AI. We have three sets of questions and we'll go through them quickly. So the first one is what are the seven main rivers in Africa? To use the AI.ask, you put the equal to sign and you, I will do AI.ask, open the bracket, select the prompt, the cell reference that has the question, other arguments are optional. I close the bracket, press the enter button on my keyboard. Chat GPT was busy sorting out the answers for me. And here I can see the seven main rivers in Africa are. I will just stretch this open because my answers have been wrapped already. So here you go. Nile River, Congo, Niger, Zambezi, Orange, Limpopo, and Senegal. It's important to state that you cannot use the chat GPT for Excel add-in when you do not have access to internet. So currently I have access to internet and this is enabling the chat GPT add-in to sort out the answers from the internet. So internet connectivity is important for this add-in. The next question is to write an email to my Excel teacher explaining that I will miss one class because of a medical appointment. So I put the e-call to ai.ask open the bracket, I select the prompt, which is the cell reference that has the question, close the bracket because other arguments are optional. And chat GPT was busy sorting the answer for me. So this is what I've got, a nicely written email with a subject, keep stretching this open. Here you have the subject, 
absence from class due to a medical appointment and i have dear i can customize this email to include the name of the teacher write the date for the pre-scheduled medical appointment and i come down here to write my name the third question which is more related to excel is asking the ai to give me a chat type that would display the relationship between two variables. So I have variable, let's say, inflation and unemployment, and I want to know what chat type I can use to display the relationship between two, these two variables. Equal to ai.ask, open the bracket, select the cell reference that has the question, close the bracket, press the enter button on my keyboard. So here the answer says a scatter plot chat is typically used to display the relationship between two variables. And this was exactly what I had in mind. It shows how one variable is affected by another and helps to identify any patterns or correlations between the two variables. This is how the AI.ask function in the chat GPT add-in for Excel works. We go to the next example, which is AI.feel. What this particular functionality does is to fill an incomplete range with, chat, with GPT given an example range. So here we need two ranges, an example range and an incomplete range. So I open the bracket. This is the example range. The example range has what, how I want to, my data to be represented. And then the next argument, which is partial, is the range that I want to fill. So I will select all of this. And the last argument here is optional. So I will ignore it. I will close the bracket, press the enter button on my keyboard, and ChatGPT is busy sorting the answers for me. We can see that Kampala is in Uganda, and this is the president. Luanda is in Angola. Lusaka is in Zambia, and Accra is in Ghana. And these are the names of their precedents. The third example we will look at today is AI.extract. What does this function do? So the AI.extract is used to extract specific information given the chat GPT specific search criteria. So here you put the equal to sign to say AI.extract. And you can see here, it explains that you can extract specific types of data from a given text. For the first set of example, I have some sentences right here. And what I want is I just want to extract the names of the people that is mentioned in these sentences. The first one says, my name is Dobell. The second sentence is Springboard is my brother. The third sentence says, when is Dormat coming to visit us? You can see that the names of the people referenced in these sentences are not in the same location. In the first sentence, the name is the last word. In the second sentence, the name is the first word. In the third sentence, the name is the middle word. So we cannot use flash peel to extract the names because the location of the names does not follow a specific pattern. This is where AI.extract comes to the rescue. So I will just select AI.extract right here. The bracket is open and I have two arguments. The first is the value. The value is a sentence that contains what you want to extract. So here I am selecting the value. The second argument is requesting for what you want to extract. In this case, I want to extract only the name that is contained in all of these sentences. So here I select name. I select the cell reference that has this, which is C2. And I will fix this cell reference because I want this to be static. So I will just use the F4 button on my keyboard to fix that particular cell reference. I press enter button and this is the information that I have. I will drag this down so that this will be effective for all the sentences. So we can see that only the names are extracted. Chat GPT AI has been able to decipher from these sentences which of these words represent the name. 
This is amazing. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So we go to the next example, still on AI.extract. Here I have some, sen some sentences and I want to extract only the email from these sentences. So I use AI.extract also. Extract, I select this, open the bracket. The next, the first argument is the value, which is a sentence that contains the information that I want to extract. The second argument is extract. What do I want to extract from this sentence? In this case, I want to extract the email. So ChatGPT will look at this sentence and remove for me everything that looks like an email. And I will fix this so that that particular cell reference is static. I press enter, chat GPT is busy sorting out this information. I will drag this down so that I can get this affected for the remaining sentences. And we can see how nicely this is done for us. This is amazing. We come to the last example in this video, which is AI.table. Here I have some requirements that I need from that I need to get using the chat GPT add-in. At the same time, I want this data to be represented in a tabular form. I want Excel to list for me the top 10 countries in Africa by GDP. And I want this information to be represented as a table. So what I need to do is to do equal to ai.table, open the bracket. I choose the prompt. Other arguments are optional. So I close the bracket and here we go. Chat GPT has also ranked the countries for me. So these are the names of the countries. This is the GDP in billions of dollars. If I edit this question to add and buy surface area and let's see what happens. So I want Chat GPT to list 10, top 10 countries in Africa by GDP and by surface area. So Chat GPT has searched for the additional criteria and has provided this for me. So this is the ranking of the countries in Africa by surface area. This is super wonderful. The next request that I need for Chat GPT add-in to provide for me is the three richest men in Africa by country. And I need this information to be provided for me as a table open the brackets, I select the prompt, which is the requirement I need chat GPT to search for me. I close the bracket, and this is the output that I have been provided with. Like I said before, this has to work only, this works only when you have an internet connection. And the link to this practice file is in the description box. So please download the practice file and practice as you learn. So I have the country here, I have the richest man and I have the net worth in billions of dollars. Aliko Dangote is from Nigeria, Nasef is from Egypt, and Nikki is from South Africa. The next example is I need Excel, I need the chat GPT to provide the random age data for 20 persons. But the peculiar difference with this example is that I have already provided table headers. In the first two examples for AI.table, I did not provide table headers. Excel provided the table headers for me. The chat GPT for Excel add-in provided these headers for me. But in this case, the headers have been pre-provided. So let us see how we can get chat GPT for Excel to give us the random age data for 20 persons with pre-provided table headers. So I do the equal to ai.table, I select this, I will choose the prompt, which is what I need chat GPT for Excel to provide for me, put the comma separator. I go to the next argument, which is optional, but in this case, I need the argument, which is header. So I will select the header that has been provided, close the bracket, and let us see what comes up for us here. Following the header requirements, I have the random names provided for me. I have the age and I have the height because 
These are the header requirements. Let me know what you think about the chat GPT for Excel ad in, in the comment section. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are yet to do so. Like the content and share. If this is the first time that you have been ex exposed to chat GPT for Excel, I made a comprehensive video on how chat GPT can help the use of Excel. The link to that video is also in the description box. Please do well to watch the video. See you in another video.